Good morning and happy Monday to everyone. I want to thank you for joining us today. Um, today, I have uh, John Enting, who's one of our top um, advisors. He's going to be discussing unity with us in regards to their funeral and estate trust plans. Uh, so uh, we're going to just go ahead and jump right in. Uh, before we get started, a couple of housekeeping items that I want to go through here real quick um, with everyone. Um, if you're familiar with Dimes, um, then you know that we like to partner with our advisors to help grow your business. So for new advisors, we have what's called the new producers builders, which um, based on the production levels um, that you produce, there's additional perks, if you will, um, in regards to what we provide. And as you see here, we've got the 100, 250, 500, 750, and million dollar uh, levels. And as you can see, you can get anything from a 15 piece mailer to uh, retirement boss radio. Um, we also provide uh, preset annuity appointments, uh, Ritz Carlton package. So if you have any questions regarding our new producers builders, please do not hesitate to give us a call. Any one of our sales directors, whether it's annuity sales director or life sales director, would be able to provide additional information for you. We also have the IMS Business Builders, which is a referral program for our existing advisors. So if you refer uh, another agent or advisor to IMS and they were to get appointed with any of the carriers that we work with, um, we do provide you with a $50 referral bonus. Any subsequent business that they write, uh, depending on the type of business, also provides uh, additional bonus for you as well. So if you have any questions on that and the ability to increase your capital, uh, most definitely give us a call to be able to provide you with more information on that as well. We also offer back office support for all of advisors. We want you to work smarter, not harder. So uh, we assist you, whether it's uh, business building tools and resources, uh, case design assistance, uh, paperless contracting, uh, life and annuity quotes. Um, we're here to help uh, you save time, partner with you to help you grow your business. Um, our website is a 24-7 website. You've got a lot of excellent sales tools available on our website. Uh, one of the biggest things that I would say uh, from a life insurance advisor perspective is you have the ability to run both term and universal life quotes. Um, we also give you the ability to do electronic applications through a couple of platforms. Uh, the first is iGo eApp Solutions, where the majority of our applications are process through our website. Uh, the second is through Firelight. Now Firelight, as you see here, um, the carriers that we work with that uh, go through Firelight, you can actually register um, with Firelight from our website. If you have not done that, uh, we can definitely walk you through that. But as you can see here, here are all the carriers that uh, you can do electronic applications with. Now, the majority of those carriers are annuity carriers, but there are some live carriers, as you see at the bottom here, uh, that use this platform. So again, any questions on that, or if you haven't gotten registered on that and need to get registered, give us a call. We'll be more than happy to help you with that. We also provide uh, creative marketing solutions for you, whether it's turnkey, agency, or digital solutions. Um, what that means is if you need assistance as far as professionally written uh, handouts or flyers, or you're looking for logo design, um, you want to get in the digital marketing space and you need assistance with a website or digital marketing strategies, we can help with that. I would say um, if this does interest you, please contact your sales director and let us do a marketing analysis with you. Take about 30 minutes. Uh, we kind of go over what your business is looking like now, um, what you would like for it to look like in the future, um, and we can provide you with some insight, uh, some results um, driven uh, solutions for you as far as helping you grow your business. So definitely, definitely reach out to your sales director if that does interest you. Um, we also offer the Retirement Analyzer, which is free for qualifying agents. Uh, this is something that's being utilized a lot by our advisors right now because we get questions on a consistent basis um, from advisors' clients on whether they can continue their present standard of living into their retirement years, um, if the situation changes due to turbulent economic times, or what would happen if they were to die prematurely. We can definitely help you 
answer those questions uh, from your client. So if you have any questions regarding the retirement analyzer or need additional information on it, uh, feel free to give us a call. We also have our IMS Wealth Management team, which you have clients that are those individuals with a higher net worth. Um, we can help you increase your revenue, um, improve client retention, strengthen that relationship with those individuals. Uh, definitely reach out to Charles and his team on that. Uh, they'd be more than happy to, to help out with that. We also have the Life and Annuity Academy. And finally, uh, this year, we were able to do one here a few months ago. Um, it is a two-day training, which includes uh, different sales ideas and strategies that uh, we discuss. We have some of our top advisors speak at the academies, such as John Enting, um, who will be joining us here shortly. Um, this is a two-day training that we do pay for. Uh, we pay for travel as well as lodging um, and food. If this is something, I think I do have a polling question on that. I'm not sure. Uh, no, I do not, thought I did. Anyway, if you do have interest in our Life and Annuity Academy, uh, please feel free to reach out to me or reach out to one of our sales directors. We can provide you with more information on that. And lastly, we have our Top Producer Summit that is going to be in 2022. Um, that is going to be a cruise getaway. Um, as you see the locations here um, that we're going on, we've got quite a few agents that have already qualified for the trip. Uh, 4.5 million points are needed to qualify. If you need additional information on this, please give us a call. If you're looking to see where you're at as far as qualifying, we can provide that info to you as well. And with that, John, I'm going to turn this over to you. Okay. Give me just a second here. I've got to get this pulled up over here. And then I can let you go ahead and take control. You should have control now. Well, let's see. There, there we go. go. If I did that, perfect. Yep. Well, uh, good morning, everybody, and thank you for attending this morning. I appreciate you listening in so I can tell you a little bit about Unity. Uh, first thing I want to say to you is, you know, I do have a couple of financial offices here in Columbus. Uh, so the point to that is I'm in the field. I'm not a home office guy. I'm actually out doing what I'm talking to you about. Uh, we implemented it, this into our business quite a while ago, and uh, it's been nice to share it with fellow advisors who a lot of them have kind of taken it and ran with it in their practice. So a couple of things we'll talk about today. We'll talk about Unity Financial, talk about the opportunity that exists with them, uh, talk about the trust that they offer to hold the asset for the client for no fee, and then the product we use to fund the trust. And then towards the end here, I'll give you some uh, presentation ideas and some details. So we like Unity. Obviously, a company is only as good as when you need them. Uh, and we know that Unity's focus is on this uh, particular planning process. So you can take a look at their financial strength. They're family owned and operated. Um, they really do focus on the irrevocable funeral trust and estate planning trust. We can get everything issued with them. Uh, the applications are very easy to complete, get submitted and get paid on. Uh, there is dollar for dollar for the funeral trust only. And then uh, 1035 exchanges are accepted. I'll talk to you why that's important and you should know about that. And then of course, we all wanna get paid for what we do. So the commissions are very competitive in the marketplace. Here's just a quick look at the financial stability of Unity. Um, you can see that uh, they're they're very strong in what they do. They're very conservative in what they do, uh, and they're good at what they do. So here's a look at their assets and liabilities. Of course, we always like that capital and surplus to be there. And then um, you know they're managed uh, again, family owned. So the the principals are always involved in all the decisions within the company. So what we did is we took a look at in our business when this was brought to me at what we plan for and the things that might happen uh, and things that are actually inevitable that are going to happen. And obviously, 
we know at some point we're, we're all going to pass away. And the issue with that will become, has your client already done this planning themselves or are they leaving it behind for someone else to have to take care of? And that's kind of my personal story, just a little bit of a background on me. I'm the youngest of five kids. Uh, my mom and dad divorced when I was two, so I wasn't real close to my father, uh, but I've always been the entrepreneur of the family. So if anything goes sideways, typically my phone is the one that rings to get my opinion. And that was no different on January 21st of 2011 when my sister called me to tell me that my dad had passed away. Now, again, I wasn't real close to my father, and I found myself the next day sitting in a funeral director's office getting asked all kinds of questions. What was your dad's highest rank in the military? What was his favorite hymn? Who were the pallbearers? You know, on and on. And these were, quite frankly, questions that I didn't have answers to. But what it did make me realize is that all these plans that we had been doing for our clients that they were not going to have to go through this. And that made me feel good and really kind of pumped me up to, to really expand what we did with the product uh, in our business to make sure that we asked every single person if they had prepaid their funeral or not. So again, we want to make sure that this is taken care of before they pass away so they're not put into a position like I was put into to have to scramble around and find out all these answers. So there's two sides of the business. There's the uh, funeral home where you can go in and prepay for your f funeral. And there's also the final expense side, which is really what this product would more relate to. So the first thing we need to ask our clients is, do you know how much a funeral costs? You will be surprised at all the answers that you get. Uh, but this is a true story. This just happened to me uh, last week. I got a call from a longtime client. Her husband's 89. He passed away uh, and he had a, a funeral trust plan. So, you know, when I was talking to her, she said, hey, how much is in the plan? I pulled it up. She had about 15,400 of death benefit. And she said, that's great. I've only got to write a check for 600 to the funeral home. So traditional funeral for her last week in Springfield, Ohio was $16,000. Now, a lot of times you're going to hear your clients say, well, you know what? I'm not worried about that. I'm going to be cremated. Well, fire costs money too. And so what we tell our clients is if you're going to be cremated, then you need to look at that five to seven thousand dollars of putting that money into the trust, because that's about the average for a cremation. And then, of course, they have gatherings and stuff like that, even at a cremation. So we want to make sure that we're asking them that. And then we're let's talk about the opportunity for you helping them with this program. Uh, a national survey, 72 percent of the people thought it was a good idea to pre-plan but 64% had not taken any steps to do this. And we believe that is because a husband doesn't wake up in the morning and roll over and look at his wife on a sunny day and say, hey, let's run down the funeral home and pick out our casket and talk about dying. Uh, that's, that typically doesn't happen because the human mind can only think about its own demise for about 11 or 12 seconds, and then it moves right on to something else. And the one thing that we know for sure is that your clients aren't any different than the ones that we're dealing in. I'm sure the majority of the people on here are all dealing in that retirement market, um, and this is ideally fit to work in that retirement market. And we should be excited about the market that we're in because the amount of people who are expected to file for Social Security benefits starting from 2010 to 2025, look at the number of what I like to call prospects that are out there that need to get some type of planning like this done. So again, we've got the plan, we've got the experience, and we've got the people. And that's really how we get to that point of discussing it with our clients. So one of the things that we like to point out to our, our clients as a conversation starter is ask them if they have long-term care insurance. Real simple question. We know that 93% of all people that are out there don't have any long-term care insurance. They're just letting everything they worked for just kind of ride the wave and hopefully they don't need care. But we like to point out to them what the average cost of care is because that rattles them a little bit. When they start looking at these numbers and then start thinking about what they have in their retirement portfolio, that money can go pretty quickly. 
and we share with them that people that don't have any type of protection are going to have to spend their money because what's going to happen is they're going to qualify for Medicaid. So they're going to make them spend all their money on care and then they're going to go on government assistance. So we will point out to people that, hey, if you don't have any type of long-term care protection, let us help you move some of your money from the countable side for a long-term care stay to the side that's not countable. So how does it all fit together? All we're doing is using the financial protection of life insurance with the advantages of an irrevocable funeral trust. So we're encouraging them to set the money aside today for an expense they know for an absolute fact is coming down the road one day. And then by putting the money into the trust, they're effectively spending down their assets. And that's going to help that be prevented from being counted uh, when they do start looking at their assets for Medicaid consideration. So we'll talk a little bit about the trust itself. Um, it's we're, I'm going to talk today about single premium. You can do a dollar for dollar, one year, three year, or five year payment plan. Uh, and we see people that do do that. But at Inting Financial Services, I've never done anything but a single premium uh, plan ever, not, not in my 15 years of doing these plans. So what I'm doing is I'm trying to give those clients that 100% protection from the Medicaid spend down. In other words, when they put that money into the irrevocable funeral trust, we've essentially taken it off the table for uh, to be spent during a long-term care stay. The policies are going to be irrevocable. They're going to get assigned to the Unity Financial Life Trust. Uh, and then when they pass away, that money comes out. I say that word irrevocable to my clients. I tell them, when you put the money in, don't call me to cash it in. Don't call me to borrow off of it. Don't worry about what your cash value is. You, This money is not coming out till you pass away. I've never had a client call me and ask me any of those questions because I'm very upfront about the what this does and how it protects their money from the long-term care stay. They're gonna get simple growth declared annually by an insurance company or by the insurance company Unity. And I wanna say this about the growth rate. This isn't about how big we can grow your money. This is about protection of your money. So yeah, you're gonna get a little interest. It's not gonna be a lot, but what we are doing is we're taking that money off the table and protecting it from a spend down. Then what's going to happen, like with my client last week, she called me, I called the, I had her give me the funeral home information, I called the funeral home, got their fax number, I called in the claim, the claim form was faxed directly to the funeral home, I was out of that process from that point, uh, and then that money gets paid directly to the funeral home. Any remaining money is returned to the estate of the insured. So as an example, the client I was talking about, if the funeral would have only been 13,000 and she had 15,400 as a death benefit, that 2,400 would have had to be paid back to the estate. And the reason for that is we excluded it from the estate for nursing home spend down and the state always has the right to recover if any money was spent out of their pocket towards that person's care. And again, we are protecting it from the nursing home, the long-term care facilities and creditors, and anything that pays out of the trust is gonna be paid out income tax-free. So when we talk about this, here's what we're really looking for. We want a yes in all the top of these columns. And if you kind of look at their traditional savings instruments, you're gonna see that the only thing that's gonna give us a yes in every single client or every single column is going to be that irrevocable trust. So why is it a better choice? Again, we're gonna know that 100% of that money is gonna be there when we need it. It's portable. If you go prepay at a funeral home, and I'll just use an example of a client that we just had that's been with us for a long time. Son took a job down in Florida. They let us know, hey, we're moving down to Florida because we wanna be close to our kids and our grandkids. Well, we had done an irrevocable funeral trust for them. That follows them down to Florida. They can go to any funeral home that they want. That being said, if they would have prepaid here in Columbus at a funeral home and then moved to Florida, you can see where that might be a problem because they've already locked into a particular funeral home. So again, we give them the flexibility of not locking into a particular funeral home, but still knowing that that money is there uh, at their time of need. And again, when they pass away, that money's immediately available. So how does it work? All we're doing is we're funding a life insurance policy. 
we're assigning that policy 30 days after issue into the irrevocable funeral trust. It's going to sit there. It's going to get a little bit of interest. And then when that client passes away, it's going to be paid directly to the funeral home provider within 48 hours. So again, everybody in that situation, it makes it a little simpler. We've got the funds they are paid directly to the funeral home. They're paid within 48 hours. We're not worried about filing claims on life insurance or trying to get money out of a checking account at the bank that, that maybe wasn't set up properly and now we can't access the funds. We know the money is going to be there when we need it the most. So there's two trusts that are offered from Unity. One is the Irrevocable Funeral Trust. Um, it's You're allowed to put up to $15,000 in it or your state limit. I see we have a lot of people on here today, so I'll share with you what those state limits look like by state here in just a minute. Um, but they're generally considered an exempt asset by Medicaid, so they're not subject to that five-year look-back period you always hear about. You could put this in there today, and your client could go in a nursing home next week, and that money's going to be 100% protected from a, a nursing home spend down. And then again, we're going to pay the funeral home, any excess going back to the estate of the insured. Now, with the estate planning trust, that's a nice trust for somebody that you may ask, hey, you know, uh, do you have any church, charity, or children that you want to leave some money to that you want a good chance of it not ever going to a nursing home? They can put money in this trust. Uh, between the two, they can have up to 100000 So if they didn't do the irrevocable funeral trust, they could put 100000 in the estate planning trust. If they did a combination of both, you can see there that adds up to $100,000. And what's going to happen is it's going to start that clock ticking on that money. And then again, when they pass away, that's going to be paid directly from the trust, but it'll be paid to a named beneficiary, not a funeral home. So which trust do I use? Uh, when I speak at the IMS Agent Academies, I always get this question. The Funeral Expense Trust is great for crisis planning. Um, I have an elder law attorney I work with down the street. It wouldn't be unusual for him to call me on the 20th of this month and say, hey, I'm trying to qualify somebody for Medicaid effective uh, you know, January 1st. I want to get $30,000 off the table. Can you come down and do a $15,000 plan on each one of the spouses? Maybe they're already paying for somebody's care. And maybe you have a client out there that has a spouse or maybe both the spouses are in care and you're dealing with the children. Maybe Medicaid's possible within five years because they're going to run out of money. What a beautiful opportunity to get some of that money off the table. And then we do a lot of public speaking to build our business. And a lot of times when we bring clients in, every time we will ask them, hey, have you prepaid your funeral? And if they haven't, we'll always share with them this story because a lot of times they'll say, yeah, let's just put the 15 grand in there. I just want to be done with it and know that the money's protected. Now with the estate planning trust, this may be one where you ask somebody that, hey, you know, have you prepaid your funeral? And they say, yeah, you know, we went down to the local funeral home and did that. And then your next question is, well, do you have any money that you would like an opportunity to transfer to a church, a charity, without it being counted as an asset if you ever needed to go into long-term care? Now, I have a couple of clients that we finished this five-year period with them. Um, their money is all protected. It's growing. And they know that if they went into care tomorrow, the money we have in the estate planning trust is definitely going to their children that can never be touched by the nursing home. And that's the real opportunity because this gives you a chance instead of picking up maybe ten or 15000 now maybe you're picking up seventy five or 100000 so the product that we use to fund the trust itself is just basically a life insurance policy. So if you look over here at the funeral trust side, you'll see minimum issue of 500, maximum of 15,000, you know, single premium. Again, that's what we do here. Minimum issue age 10, maximum 99. Now you can do the dollar for dollar. What does that mean? Well, if I put 1,000 in, that's how much protection I have is 1,000. But if I needed to maybe take 10% out of an annuity because I wanted to fund it every year for the next five years, we do have the ability to do that. And then with the estate planning trust, we're looking here at the single pay. Again, minimum issue 2,000 up to 85,000, possibly 100 if you haven't done a, a funeral expense trust with them. And again, you can get that done anywhere from age 50 to 90. So the death benefit information is we're gonna put the money in there into the single premium. 
we're going to get a little bump up in base. So if we put 10,000 in there, we'll start with, you know, $10,050. It's going to get a little bit of interest that'll be credited in there. And then again, at the bottom, we've got the trust. Uh, if we're doing the dollar for dollar, it's the premium paid and then that uh, growth factor that's in there. Here's the growth factors on the rates. Again, uh, you know, let's look at the estate trust rate. It's a half a percent. Let's look at the funeral trust rate. It's a quarter of a percent. Don't get hung up on that. If you're trying to grow somebody's money, then go put it somewhere where you're trying to grow it. If you're trying to protect it, you need to articulate to them that this isn't about how big we can grow it because we can get you 5% on your money. But if you lose it all to the nursing home, who cares? You didn't really accomplish anything. So again, don't focus on the growth, focus on the protection. And if you're in this business and you don't like paperwork, you're going to love doing a unity application. Um, when I wrote my first annuity back in 1993, I was in a dry cleaner in Marion, Ohio. It was a $25,000 annuity. I, I couldn't believe someone was going to give me a $25,000 check, let alone let me walk out with it. But the beautiful thing looking back on that was my application was three pieces of paper and that last piece was their receipt. You all know now that when we look at any application, I don't care if it's annuity, life insurance, long-term care, managed money, whatever that is, it can be 25, 35 pages. So what we've done here is we've simplified this process with the irrevocable funeral trust application. So this is really the simplicity of it. This is the first page of the actual application. You're just basically taking their basic information. Uh, down here at the bottom, we're going to sign off on it, that they've answered the questions. Uh, they're going to sign. You're going to sign. Obviously, put your agent number so we can track it for you. This is one of the assignments. Uh, this is for the funeral trust. So if you're going to do business with Unity, make sure you have both the disclosures. One will be the funeral trust. The other one will obviously be the estate planning trust. But remember me saying that once we got it issued, 30 days later, they put it into the trust. Well, if I had a situation like I was sharing with my elder law attorney, he doesn't have 30 days, right? He already told me he's trying to get them qualified for Medicaid January 1st. So what we can do down here is we can elect to waive that 30-day status and have that money go directly into the trust. That way we can do some critical planning if we're at that point with our clients. What does the irrevocable funeral trust cover? I like to say, what doesn't it cover? Pretty much everything that you can think of that you are going to need to take care of um, is going to be able to be paid for out of the irrevocable funeral trust. Um, so again, that's what we're looking for, making sure that we've got everything in place for our client to make it as simple as possible for people who are grieving for a loved one. So here's our individual state limits. Uh, you can take a look up at this. Um, we do have an updated slide that we don't have in here that I will be getting in. And if you have any questions, you can reach out to the life team. Um, but this is talking about the irrevocable funeral trust state limits. And you can see there that most everybody is at $15,000. Um, but I'll come down here and we'll use Nebraska where um, insurance agency marketing services is located. You can only put $4,978 into the trust and have that excluded day one. So what if I'm with a client and they're like, well, that's great, but my funeral is going to be $15,000. That's where you really have to put on your, your advisor cap and share with them that, hey, I understand that, but Nebraska says we can only put 4978 so let's max that out, and then let's put another 10000 in the estate planning trust. Yes, you're going to have the five-year look back, but five years goes quickly, right? I mean, 60 months flies by, so again, you're going to want to share with them. We can still get you to your number. We're just going to have to be creative with the way that we get you to your number. So what about presenting it to clients? When this was first brought to me about 14 years ago by my mentor, I had no idea how to present it. I didn't even know what it was until I dug into it. But he shared something with me that I've utilized in every new thing I've learned through my career. And he told me, he said, look, if you're going to start start with the annual reviews with your current clients because your current clients like you, they respect you, they trust you. 
So if I were going to go in to see somebody, I might go in and say, you know, hey, uh, Jerry and Sally, you know, I'm here to do your annual review. Would you agree that the things that I proposed to you have worked out the way that we intended? And when they say yes, just say, you know, there's something that we haven't discussed that that I'm really talking about with all my clients. And I want to ask you a simple question. Have you prepaid your funeral? It's a yes or no question. If they haven't, then you want to share with them how you can get that money from the countable side to the non-countable side and protect it from a long-term care stay. Now, again, if they say, oh, yeah, we pre-planned our funeral. We did that five years ago with ABC Funeral Home. Well, that's great. Do you have any money that you would like to know could go to your church, your charity, your children, and have the opportunity to never go to a nursing home in the event you need care? Then you can pivot over to the estate planning trust. So again, we're going to stress those benefits of planning ahead. We're going to share with them. You can use it at any funeral home. And Talk to them about 1035 exchanging existing life insurance. The majority of your clients have no idea that when they pass away, they don't get both the cash value and the death benefit. And why is that important? Because if you've got an old paid up policy that's got 15,000 of death benefit and 13,000 of cash value, how much death benefit do you have that's on the shoulders of the insurance company? about 2000 because that 13 is your cash. So why not say to the client, hey, you know, if you get sick and go into a nursing home, they're gonna make you spend down that 13,000. Why don't we take that today, since we know we're gonna use it for your funeral, put a couple thousand with it, and let's 1035 exchange it over to Unity so that now we know that that money's there when your family needs it the most. So again, don't go past the 1035 exchange, you know a lot of your clients have those old paid up policies. Take the time to call the company with them to find out what those values look like. We use a 25% a ratio. By that, what I mean, if they've got 15,000 of cash value and 20,000 of death benefit, we believe it's acceptable to move the 15,000. Now, if they've got 15,000 of cash value and a $50,000 death benefit, that's really where you may want to just let that ride because the last thing you want to do is move it. And, you know, six months from now they pass away and their family could have had 50 grand. So again, just be conscious of what you're doing in that arena. And then again, all we're trying to do is close that sale and help those clients plan. Now, where do we find the money? Um, you know, don't be afraid to ask them. You know, if you passed away yesterday, where would your family be paying for your funeral from today? You'll hear a lot of different answers. A lot of times we'll hear, well, my children know I have a CD at the bank that's for my death benefit. Well, if that's the case, if you get sick and go to a nursing home, the first thing they're going to make you spend is a CD at the bank. Why in the world wouldn't we protect that money and move it over to Unity? So the money's there. You just need to ask for the money. So nice thing about Unity, they've got some really good marketing materials that are very uh, written in layman's terms so that you can leave them behind with a client. Uh, I've written some pretty big deals leaving brochures behind with clients. One thing I will tell you about that, though, I'm a stickler. If I leave a brochure, I don't care if I'm talking about annuities or I'm talking about life insurance. I always set a phone call up with the client for the next day. Hey, I understand you want to look at this. It's not that hard to review. I'm going to call you at one o'clock tomorrow while it's fresh on your mind so that we can figure out if this is the way you want to go or not. Because why not just get that done and out of the way? They're either going to say yes or they're either going to say no, but you're not left to wonder about it and you can move on with your day. So this is really important. I'm, I'm going to share probably the most important thing, I think, when you do a plan for a client. My mentor always taught me to leave a task for the client once I write a deal because it keeps them engaged and keeps them away from buyer's remorse. So what we do is we leave this planning gu guide with them when we write a deal. Why is this important? Because if my dad had had this done and my dad had had a unity policy, I could have walked into the funeral director, handed him this planning guide, handed him the unity uh, you know, policy or had the, the claim uh, initiated through the funeral home, and 
I wouldn't have had to worry about any of the questions I didn't have answers to. So what your client's doing is they're making it easy for the people who are going to be taking care of their funeral. And that guide has everything down to who your pallbearers are. Uh, it's free through Unity. So when you're licensed, you can order them, have them on, on hand to be able to give to your client. Even if you come across a client that doesn't want to do the plan, Give them the guide. Say, hey, I understand you don't want to do this, but fill this out and put it with your important documents for your family. So on that Unity website, again, um, you can log in, you can order supplies, look at your policies, look at your commission reports. Um, anything that you need will be there on that website. So why start using the Unity product? I already shared with you the numbers. Your clients are needed. They're thinking about it. They're just not motivated to do it. That's where you come in. You're going to get paid well for doing it. The trusts are going to be free from the company. The funds are portable. Any funeral home provider will accept the money. You're going to give your clients that peace of mind of knowing that that portion is done and planned for. And again, if you hate paperwork, you're going to love the Unity application. It's one piece of paper, your state disclosure form, and your uh, state replacement form uh, that's required. So again, I was very fortunate to have a couple great mentors in my life. Um, one of them that I still speak with regularly, he always told me, look, don't build your business on one income uh, leg on your income stool. You gotta have multiple things spinning you off income. Again, this is what this does for us. All we're looking to do is talk to a couple couples each month that can benefit from them. We know if we can pick that up, we do that 10 months out of the year, we're going to make at least 60 grand from the product and we're going to have put our clients in a better position than when we started talking to them about it. So this is just a, a commission schedule so you can kind of get an idea. I'll just look at that 66 to 70 age. If you were to go out, pick up 30,000 in a house from a couple, you just made $4,000 for doing your review. You've done something great for them um, and you've done something good for yourself because you've helped the client and you've got paid for helping that client. They do have a fast start initiative. Once you submit 25,000 in funeral trust business in the first 30 days, uh, they're gonna pay you a $200 bonus. Uh, and it also gets counted towards the IMS uh, sales conference that Tony alluded to at the beginning of the presentation. So just remember your clients believe in it and it's a good idea, they're thinking about it, so it's okay to ask them. Have you prepaid your funeral? It's a very unoffensive question. Share with them why they need the protection. You know, I have a, a agent that asked me at the IMS Agent Academy, he said, I wanna say this to you nicely, but man, I wish I had the story about your dad. And I said, well, you know, you do have the story about my dad. Tell him you met, you've got a good friend in the business and this is what happened to him. And you're trying to prevent your, this from happening to your clients and share that story. It's a true story. It happened to me. And then again, every client, every day, every time, have you prepaid your funeral? So uh, when do I get paid? They, they uh, process commissions weekly. They're paid out on a Tuesday. Obviously, we all know what cash with app is. You can track your business on the, the website. And also, IMS will track your, your business from submission to commission. Uh, if you're doing any type of business with them, you know that already. Uh, so again, agents have direct access to all company management at Unity. You've got a problem. You don't feel you're getting your question answered. You can go directly to their company management uh, and they'll be happy to talk with you. They've got great marketing materials to help you move forward in the process. And then again, online access to track your, your production, your policy status and your commission uh, payment information. So I'm going to talk, I'm going to end today uh, talking to you a little bit about this, tell you just a quick story about it and, and why I did it. Um, but I, I may have the time frame wrong, but it's been at least seven or eight years ago. I had a big client. Uh, she was a widow. She had about a half a million dollar annuity with me and she passed away. Got a call from her daughter to let me know that she had passed away. And in the conversation with the daughter, I said, hey, you know, once you get through this and we don't have to do this for two, three, four weeks, but we need to sit down because your mom has an annuity with me. It's got about $500,000 in it. You're the primary beneficiary. 
and she said to me, oh, John, don't worry about that. I've already talked to the guy down at the bank and he's going to handle everything for us. Well, I will tell you, I lost that half a million dollar case to a guy at a bank that probably doesn't even work there anymore. And that really fired me up. And I made a commitment to myself and my team and my company that I wasn't going to let that happen anymore. So I developed this guide for beneficiaries. And what we did is we went out and we went and saw all of our clients and we took them this beneficiary guide. And we, with the guide, it, we collected all new data. So we have a discovery sheet. We collected everything from them. And what ended up happening is we found out that even our best clients don't tell us everything. So over a six month period, we wrote about a million and a half in a new annuity premium about 200,000 in traditional single premium life and about 150,000 in funeral trust business. And the only reason that that happened is because we took this guide out to every single client and every one of them told us how much they appreciated it and how much this would help their family when they passed away. So when you become licensed with Unity Life through insurance agency marketing services, the creative team can make this available to you. They can put it with your company logo and information on it. Uh, but this is what mine looks like. And it says, a guide for my beneficiaries. For help settling my estate, please call my advisor at Inting Financial Services. So we tell our clients when we give them this, hey, share this with your kids. Tell them this is who they're supposed to call because we don't want to lose business to a bank. So in the beginning of it, I've got this nice letter that I wrote. You can go ahead and, uh, you know, tweak it to, to what you do in your practice. But it basically tells a client we care about them. We've got great people in place to help their family in their time of need. And that's what we promised them. And that's what we're going to be here for. And then at the bottom, I just personally guarantee your satisfaction because we are going to be there. And I know the job that we do. Now, before I move forward, I just gave you a snippet of like the front cover. That book has about 20 other pages in it that tells them everything they need to do at death from getting the death certificates to contacting Social Security to writing a letter to the pension plan to closing out credit cards. Whatever needs to be done is in there. And we had that reviewed by a, a legal uh, person. Uh, to make sure that we had everything in there correctly to the best of our knowledge. So um, then what we do is we give them that and we say, hey, we're going to update all your financial information. And I kind of use the same line I use when I do a irrevocable funeral trust and I give them that guide is I tell them that if we had never met them before, we could come in, we could pick up their guide for their beneficiary. We could pick up the financial organizer and we could probably settle their estate without ever meeting them because it's going to have all the detailed information that we're going to need to help them do that. And then so what ends up is they end up opening up to us and they start sharing all of their information with us. So we very detailed in what we go through with them. And then you can see here, question eight, have you prepaid for your funeral? If they tell us yes, then we're going to ask them, do you have any other money that you would like the opportunity to pot potentially protect it from a nursing home in the event you would go in and listen to what their answer is? But if you don't ask this question, you will never sell an irrevocable funeral trust. That much I can promise you. So again, this is just the, the balance of the workbook that we kind of do with them. It's, it's very detailed. Uh, and then once we're done with that, we got a little thing for the notes in the back of them. If they want to make any notes in there, they can. A lot of times clients will use this for passwords, uh, you know, so that their kids can actually access an account when they pass away, uh, whatever they would need it for. So that's our approach. Once you're licensed with Unity, they can certainly help you uh, get this and implement it. Um, the successes are verified. And I want to thank everybody for giving me the time this morning because I know your time is as valuable as mine. And if you have any questions, Tony, I'd be more than happy to answer them. Okay. Can you hear me okay? Yes. Okay. All right. I'm going to switch this back over to me. Well, I'll leave it to you for right now. Let's see if we've got any questions. On here.
John, I don't know if you can see this. Uh, there are states that do not require a death certificate right away in order to pay the claim or funeral estate trust. That is correct. Yeah, and that, that that and it's really going to be the funeral home. That's what we found in our experience. That process is very easy between the company and the insurance. To be quite frank, in my client that passed away uh, mm -hmm. last week, um, you know, once I got that information and gave it to the company, I was out of the loop. I just know I talked to her. I have an appointment with her on Wednesday, and everything went smoothly. So, okay, you'd be good there. All right, so I think what he's asking is, is there any states that do not require the death certificate right away? There is none to my knowledge that okay. I have ever heard about. But if you're in a particular state, then I'm sure we can get you that information. Okay. All right, let me see if there is. Looks like. That is the only question. I have a few polling questions I want to get out to everyone. Um, the first one, and John, tell me if you can see this. If Are you currently contracted with Dimes for any life or annuity products at all? I cannot see it, so you Hang may on. have to take control. There you go. I just launched it. Yeah. Okay. So if you're not currently appointed with Dimes for any life or annuity products, go ahead and respond to this. And I'll leave this up for a little bit. Okay, a few more seconds. All right, I'm going to go ahead and close that out. The next polling question that we have is if you'd like to get contracted with Unity. I'm launching that polling question. And for those of you that would, definitely make sure we get uh, that information out to you. And I'll leave this up for a few more seconds. All right, we'll close that one out. And then lastly, here, if you have any clients that you think this product would be um, a fit or clients that you uh, think that this is a definite need, there is a polling question there. And it looks like we've got a few people wanting to get not only appointed, but see a need with some existing clients so that's always a good thing perfect and i'll leave this up for a little bit make sure that everybody has an opportunity to respond okay i'm gonna close that out okay john i'm gonna take control back Okay. Okay. All right, and one last thing here. So any additional questions that uh, you come up with after the uh, webinar, feel free to uh, reach out to any of the sales directors here at Insurance Agency Marketing Services, as you see here. Uh, my contact information is here. Uh, Justin Ford is also one of our life sales directors. His email address is justin at imesinc.com. Um, our department is growing as we speak, and we have a new sales director, Beth uh, Rickliffs, who brings a wealth of life insurance knowledge uh, to the team. Uh, you can reach out to Beth at Beth at imesinc.com. And then we also have Jess Riley. Um, his email address is Jess with an E at imesinc.com. Or you can reach out to us by giving us a call. It's a toll free number here. We'd be more than happy to answer any questions that you have. And if you like the material that we do provide here when we do these webinars, please be sure to follow and like us on our Insurance Agency Marketing uh, Facebook page as well as LinkedIn. 
And with that, John, do you have any final words at all? Uh, the only thing I can say is make sure you ask that question. Have you pre plan or prepaid your funeral? And um, listen for the answer, and we'll give you the everything you need to be able to help the client. Awesome. Well, John, thanks for taking time out of your busy schedule uh, to do these webinars, which is always is greatly appreciated um, that we partner with you as well as our um, other advisors. So thanks much for that. Um, for those of you that joined the webinar, thank you for taking time out of your busy day um, to uh, listen in. I look forward to speaking with you guys here in the future and have a great day.